Before deploying an ONTAP Select cluster, you should understand the details of the Capacity Pool's licensing model. Capacity Pool's licenses have a unique set of attributes. Most notably, Capacity Pool licenses are subscription-based licenses. The license is based on a subscription with a one, two, or three-year term limit. Capacity Pool licenses can also operate at the enterprise level. Therefore, Capacity Pool licenses can be shared across any number of nodes in any cluster configuration across multiple regions. Capacity Pool licenses provide an unprecedented level of agility and deployment flexibility for ONTAP Select. Additional capacity can be added to the pool at any time. Customers can also shrink the capacity when renewing the license. In this example, a pool license has 100 terabytes that can be allocated to ONTAP Select nodes. The first node leases 10 terabytes. The available capacity is 90 terabytes. The second node leases 70 terabytes. The available capacity is now 20 terabytes. Every ONTAP Select node runs as a virtual machine or VM on a hypervisor and requires a license. Two basic license modes are available for ONTAP Select capacity pools. Evaluation licenses, which are free, enable the deployment of pre-production environments. Production deployments require purchase licenses. Evaluation and production licenses support the same functionality for capacity pools. To request an evaluation license, go to evaluate.netapp.com. A license lock ID or LLID is required when you submit the request. You can find LLIDs in the ONTAP Select Deploy VM. Evaluation licenses cannot be converted to production licenses in ONTAP Select 9.6. If the evaluation period extends beyond the evaluation expiration date, the nodes continue to serve data until the aggregates are put offline manually or forcibly. For example, a power loss causes the aggregate to go offline. The aggregates do not come back up online if the license is expired. A capacity pool license can be standard, premium, or premium XL. A standard license enables deployments of small size instances only and is restricted to HDDs in direct attached storage or DAS cases. Customers can enable higher performance by applying an ONTAP Select Premium license instead. The Premium license enables deployments of small or medium sized instances. This license also enables the use of HDDs or solid state drives or SSDs and is required for NetApp ONTAP Metro Cluster SDS deployments. Customers can achieve further performance improvements by applying an ONTAP Select Premium XL license. The Premium XL license enables deployments of small, medium, or large size instances. This license also enables the same options as a premium license. Note that software RAID deployments require the use of SSDs. Therefore, only premium or premium XL licenses can support software RAID deployments. To manage flexibility, each ONTAP Select Deploy VM incorporates a license manager service that automatically keeps track of allocated capacity whenever a node creates or modifies an aggregate. The License Manager service can manage multiple capacity pool licenses at the same time. For administration purposes, the License Manager service reports pool usage information through the Deploy UI. To track capacity, the License Manager service uses the concept of leases. Each lease enables the node to consume capacity for a specific aggregate for a certain duration. The duration is user-defined at the pool level and can vary between one hour and seven days. From the license manager perspective, a lease expiration means that capacity is available to be used elsewhere. The purpose of the lease is to track the allocated capacity across the pool and to prevent capacity leakage. Capacity leakage happens when capacity has been leased but is never returned to the pool.
Leases automatically renew as long as the node has connectivity with Deploy. The nodes periodically run the lease renewal process, which requires no user interaction. Each license manager instance is identified with a unique 128-bit LLID. An LLID is required for license download. The LLID prevents multiple license manager instances from using the same capacity pool license at the same time. However, NetApp's support can reset the LLID value if a valid reason exists. Certain restrictions apply when using the capacity pool licensing model. All the nodes within a single ONTAP Select cluster must use the same licensing model, either capacity tiers or capacity pools. All the nodes with a capacity pool license in an ONTAP Select cluster must use the same license manager instance. Each deploy instance contains one instance of license manager. Each node can lease storage from one capacity pool. A node cannot use two or more pools. Both nodes in a single high availability or HA pair must lease storage from the same capacity pool. However, different HA pairs within the same cluster can lease storage from different pools that are managed by the same license manager instance. License Enforcement Understanding how ONTAP Select enforces license capacity and duration is important. Capacity leases need to cover only the disk size of the data aggregates. For multi-node clusters, the license for each node must also include the space for the RAID sync mirror copy that the Node HA partner stores. Note that the actual amount of managed storage is not relevant when sizing a capacity license. Factors such as storage efficiencies distort the amount of storage that is used. Every time that ONTAP Select is requested to modify the space that the aggregate requires, the updated storage allocation is tested against the pool's available capacity. The License Manager instance approves the operation only if sufficient space is available. Otherwise, the aggregate operation fails. This will prevent an aggregate from losing a valid lease. Every time ONTAP Select is requested to create or change the size of a data aggregate, the updated storage allocation is tested against the capacity limit of the capacity pool. If the new lease target exceeds the capacity limit of the license, the aggregate operation simply fails without updating the current lease. This approach helps to prevent the aggregate from being left without a capacity lease. A license can expire and go out of compliance in the following situations. The capacity license for a shared capacity pool expires based on the term expiration date. For example, a license might expire after one year. If the capacity pool license is not renewed, then the license goes out of compliance. Any subsequent lease renewal request to the expired license is rejected. If a data aggregate lease is not renewed, the previously leased capacity goes back to the pool and is made readily available for other storage operations if the capacity pool license is still valid. If both the license and the lease expire, the storage goes out of compliance. During this time, you can still access the associated data. However, if the node is shut down or the data aggregated is moved offline, attempts to reuse the storage fail. Workflows When you order ONTAP Select software from NetApp, you will receive a software licensing notification email. The email includes a PDF file attachment. The attachment is a sales order with software report. The report shows you the software products you ordered, including the serial numbers. Each serial number represents a distinct license. You will use the serial number in the next step. First, log on to the NetApp support site. Navigate to the Products menu and select Software Licenses. Enter the cluster serial number, then click the Go button. This concludes our discussion of Capacity Pools licensing for ONTAP Select.